Although I was adopted after the Korean War, in many ways, the war still shaped my destiny. The war brought appalling destruction, killing some four million people. Hundreds of thousands of orphans were left wandering the streets, seeking food and shelter. What Americans saw and heard about the war led to a large-scale relief effort. Americans from all over the country sent food, clothes, and money to help ease the suffering. And eventually, plane loads of orphans were sent to America and Europe for adoption. News of the plight of orphans after the war reached my parents in the form of ads in newspapers and television. They started supporting Cha Jung Hee through a sponsorship program called the Foster Parents Plan. They sent her $15 a month and in return received letters from Cha Jung Hee. The letters describe Cha Jung Hee as a happy child who enjoys her life at the orphanage. A true orphan who needs and is worth saving. The social worker who handled the case was Hyo Sun Park. She wrote all the letters to my parents on Cha Jung Hee's behalf and eventually switched me with Cha Jung Hee. For years, she was the only one who knew my true identity, but never revealed it to anyone. I feel I'm not supposed to question the charity that determined my fate. But I cannot help but wonder about the motivations for my adoption. Following the war, South Korea suffered from dire poverty. Almost 100% of the country's economy depended on the U.S. Koreans came to think of the U.S. as a country with streets paved of gold. This helped to rationalize my adoption and that of thousands of others. The switch with Cha Jung Hee was born out of a desire to save yet another child from poverty. And at the same time, it was a business transaction. I'm 
역할이라 하고 그걸 그 바꿔치기 한것 같은데 지금까지도 그것이 어, 말하자면 찾아, 옥진이를 어, 떠날 수가 없다니 미안해. 그래서. According to the orphanage records, Cha j a n g h e e left the orphanage with her father in February 1965. But Mrs. Park continued to send letters to my parents in Cha j a n g h e e s name for another year. My parents wrote to Cha j a n g h e e every month and sent her money and clothes. They then paid for and finalized the adoption of a girl who wasn't even there. <laughs> 